Tony Alamo. Everybody loved Tony Alamo's jackets, his design. But they all ignored his child cult. 1987, Michael Jackson released the album Bad, Jackson's own troubled legacy with children, would be revealed in the upcoming years. Yet at that moment, the most abusive thing on the album cover was not Jackson, but the jacket that he was wearing. Jackson was far from the only celebrity who wore a jacket designed by Tony Alamo. Celebrities as varied as Mr. T, Burt Reynolds, Dolly Parton, Mike Tyson have been spotting where Alamo's line of bejeweled denim jackets. Alamo's jackets were so popular that he became a multi-millionaire in a matter of years. Bolstered by that money, Alamo found in an abusive cult. Tony Alamo turned a failed career as a pop singer into a lucrative career as a preacher. His sermons centered on the inevitable apocalypse caused by Catholic overlords, religion-tinged threats were directly related to his jacket empire. Many of his employees, like all of his ten wives, were underage. For six months, Alamo mo motivated his followers by displaying the embalmed corpse of his first wife, Susan, who had died of breast cancer in 1982. Each night, the child laborers gathered in their workshop around the body, hoping to bring Susan back to life. The children prayed and sang, uh, cover of the Everly Brothers, Wake Up, Little Susie. For every day the body did not reincarnate, the workers were beaten as punishment. The conditions in their 14-hour shifts were not much better. Rhinestones routinely cut their fingers. Alamo's empire crumbled as his slave labor, serial sexual abuse, and tax evasion became evident. He died in prison in 2017. His tainted legacy was not, has not stopped celebrities from wearing his jackets to this very day.